meteorologist Chris Boone. Not a big change from what we saw yesterday. Again, cooler temperatures out towards the Pacific Northwest, warmer temperatures further east, and we've been kind of stuck here in the middle waiting for those cooler temperatures to start working their way here in the Concho Valley and the state of Texas as well. Otherwise, we've just only been seeing those high clouds. Again, some upper-level cirrus moving across the state from the west into our area. Again, set us up for some nice temperatures, but still well above average for this time of year. Again, starting to cool things off just a little bit. Upper 60s right now. We are seeing an increase in those dew points. We're starting to see them into the mid-50s. That increased humidity is what's going to help to continue our rain chances as we finish up the week. Again, southerly winds, 8 miles per hour. So again, starting to see those winds die down as we go into the evening hour. 60 is now more dominant across the Concho Valley. 67 in Mertzen, 69 here in San Angelo. Same with Eden. Do still seeing some of those lingering 70s out towards the east. 73 in Coleman, 70 out in Brady. Again, we did see those war gustier conditions breezy conditions this afternoon. Again, I only saw them into the mid-20s for the most part. This will be the highest gust that we saw recorded the past 24 hours. We're going to expect those winds to really start to ramp up as we go into tomorrow. However, during the evening hours, start to see a little bit of a break and we'll start to see them die down into the single digits or even just into the teens for the most part. But Again, we'll be watching for those winds to really pick up as we go into tomorrow. Clouds increasing tonight. That's going to help to keep us a little bit warmer as well. Again, only getting into the upper 50s. A couple spots could stay in the low 60s for our overnight lows. Again, that southwesterly wind is going to keep things a bit on the warmer side. And that increased cloud coverage, that's going to help to keep, going to act as our blanket. Again, keeping all that heat trapped in uh, along the surface. And again, that's going to allow us to stay a bit warmer during the overnight. And we're going to translate into a warmer afternoon tomorrow as well. Temperatures expected to reach into the upper 70s. 78 are high for the afternoon. Again, we'll continue to watch for some mixed clouds as clouds are really increasing as we go into Thursday. But Windy conditions expected. Again, gusts could get up to 35, even 40 miles per hour at times. And they're going to stay all from the southwest. Again, warming us up as we finish up into the second half of the week. Again, looking at those gustier winds for us going into Wednesday. As we start to see a weak cold front make its way in from the west on Thursday, it's going to help to cool us down just a little bit. It's mostly going to be the cloud coverage that keeps us a bit cooler during the afternoon hours. But we'll definitely see those winds start to die down as well. So, again, tomorrow, it's my trash day as well, so I'm going to be right there with you. Trash cans could be seen knocked over just a little bit, not too far away. But, again, with those gusts up to 35 miles per hour, Definitely want to try to grab those as soon as you're done with it. Kind of grab them, pull them back in so they don't get traveled too far. Otherwise, we'll be watching for that increased cloud coverage as we finish up the week. That cold front kind of first week cold front comes through. But we're going to be watching for the second cold front. This is going to be the stronger push of some cold air. It's also going to be bringing us our rain chances for the Concho Valley up towards the Metroplex and parts of Arkansas. We're going to see it kind of stall out a little bit as we get into Saturday. It's going to linger and increase those rain chances for some spotty showers as we go through your day on Saturday. And we'll start to see conditions begin to dry up going into late Saturday into Sunday as well. So a windy day in store for us on Wednesday. Temperatures close to the 80 degree mark. A slight cool down with that cold front. Again, not a whole bunch of uh, cold air expected with that one coming in more from the west than the northwest. Then we see the better cold front come through late on Friday. That's going to be the big cool down. Nearly a 20 degree drop from Friday to Saturday. Again, with temperatures in the mid 50s expected for the weekend. We could see some spotty showers. Again, we'll look at that for Saturday as well as Sunday. We'll start to dry conditions out going into next week with temperatures returning back to the 70s.